right the shopping list inside um this is essential but not essential but you know i would think it's pretty much you common know, sense common sense yep first up we've got first aid kit and fire extinguisher yep wouldn't be without both um i think it's always handy to buy a proper first aid kit to start off with yeah. the chances are if you're going to use anything out of it it'll probably just be plasters yeah, but so then you can just top it up with whatever you buy from the supermarket but i but think, I think it makes sense to have one not only that but even if you're not equipped to use some of the things in the kit someone on site like the wardens are first aid trained so yeah. i think it's handy to have the stuff even yeah. if, even if it's not for you um it's, it's good to have it on board the fire extinguisher I, I think most caravans will possibly have one fitted it's worth checking the date check the date make sure it's still yep. yeah because the, the caravan dealer won't change it for you i wouldn't think so you'll have to buy a new one yeah uh, but they need to be in date there's always a date stamp that's on right them somewhere yeah. isn't there um fortunately they're not that pricey um you want to go for a dry powder though because that can be used on pretty much every sort of fire yeah um we i think we've got a one kilo one it just sits by the door that's not too big yeah. probably pretty much all you all you want want to carry and, but and i hope, certainly wouldn't be hope, without one hopefully it's a complete waste of money and you never use it yes um, that's that's the main thing right we're going on to cooking obviously if you're going to cook in your caravan yep <laughs> even if you want beans on toast or something like that yep. Uh, you're going to need the essential pots and pans again just basic cheap old pots and yep. pans really isn't it? and if you're going on your first trip just take, take stuff from home, from home. Um, long term, yeah it helps long term you're going to want a separate yeah, set separate of, and set. you'll you'll learn what sort of cooking you end up doing in the van and, yeah. and what, what you what you need obviously there are ones specific ones you can buy from caravan yeah, shops but is, um <laughs> lightweight and so on yeah go um, down to wilco it's far cheaper yeah <laughs> anyway um the other thing is kettle and teapot the all-important kettle and teapot obviously yep. now we've got quite a small little plastic lightweight yep. one that's served us for years yep. it? It, and I'm, yeah and i'm recommending in this case do get one um yeah. from a caravan in shop or similar because yeah. they tend to be lower powered yeah. um, so obviously if you are on mains you've only got a limited amount of power and um, it's yeah po it's possibly the only thing that I would recommend you get from yeah from from a caravan shop really in a way yeah uh, other, other things on our shopping list you, you can know, you can probably buy anywhere, anywhere but, but yeah, you know definitely. That, that is definitely low powered but essential but yeah. have, a oh, you've got to have a cup of yeah. tea when you get there and and obviously you must have the all important glassware crockery yeah cutlery cutlery again for your first outing or or until you know you know you like it um just you take stuff from home. home just just keep an eye on the weight though so you don't want to be taking the whole dinner service no, um no. long term you know a lot of people go down the plastic route don't yep. they um we, we use we plastic, sort of got a combination, combination of we? both we do like our drinks out of real glasses yep and as long as you're careful um yep. and again it depends you know there's only two of us so it, you know if, if, if yeah you know if you've got family of children and everything else then plastic glasses with, without any shadow of a doubt yes um but whatever you're going to need you know for the amount of people that mm. you're going away with first time yep. second time just use it out of the house yep. but you know obviously you can pay a lot more um a washing up bowl is quite essential really in a way yeah um, you're not going to wash up in this in your own sink yeah and if you perhaps got a lot of greasy stuff yeah. um you perhaps want to take it over to the um washing up area on site if it has one um a lot of traditional caravanners still do that yeah they, uh, do. they, they yeah. won't use their on board sink for anything no. other than rinsing teacups so you can mainly to keep the pipes Again, clear it's another one of them things that's quite a cheap cost in it you can go down to b&m or yeah you know any of these cheap quid, stores couple and, of quid yeah and, and and just buy a big bowl and yeah. chuck all your stuff in it and yep. gum wash it up that's no problem obviously your first out in then we come on to you're always going to need your towels your towels for your shower, shower. yep um we I, I would only ever say use a bath size towel not these yep. bath sheets too big in the cubicles isn't they the yeah they're going to end up probably getting wet yeah, they? <laughs> so so yeah, yeah bath size towel i would say yep all important hand towel for the side of your your wash basins yep and your washer maybe yep. yeah obviously tea towels yep flannels flannels that sort of thing and the all important washing up sponge and kitchen roll yep you know just basic essentials for your first trip yes um 
Then we come to, obviously... Toiletries. <laughs> toiletries. Um, I know it sounds yeah. a bit silly, but we just... But, yeah, you, you, you're yeah. going to want something, aren't you? Yeah. Even your basics. Shower so, gel or soap, shampoo. Shampoo, deodorant. And we always say wet wipes, don't we? Yeah, well, they've got yeah. a variety of, of, of uses. Yeah. Um, just mopping up little spills as well. Yeah, um, so, they come in handy for that, so yeah. we always keep a couple of packs of wet wipes in. Anyway, that, that's basically... I know a lot of that is common sense. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're going away on a trip, but, you need yeah, something to but, eat off. But, yeah. but we've put it there. The next thing is is your bedding. Yeah. Now, again, bedding... People all use different beds. There are we'll, so many options yeah, here, aren't there? On this, on this particular case, we'll assume that you've bought... I don't know. A caravan setup like we use. Yeah. We use two singles. Um, we we sometimes make up the yep. double, but it's mostly two singles we yep. use. We use a straightforward duvet, duvet. Yep. Um, we fold it in two, like yep. a little envelope. Yep. Two pullers, and we're away. And yep. we've used that pretty much since day one. Works yep. a treat. And it works a treat. You can buy. Some people will start off sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. Why not? Um, there are other options as well. Duvets are very popular. It's yeah. a sort of combined um, foam yeah. base. Very, they're quite not, They're not cheap. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest your hard-earned money. Not straight away. Not straight away. Um, they're an option to look at in the future. And to be fair, people we spoke to have got them, yeah. like them very much. Um, yeah. But then we like you know, we, our arrangement, we, we, which just, is yeah. considerably and cheaper again, as if well. If, if you bought a fixed bed, then obviously it's just take your, <laughs> yeah. your duvet from home isn't yeah. it? And, and your pullers. Yeah. So, you know... Um, that's you know we'll sh you know we'll show you on a picture here what yeah. we do, but them options are open to you. We're just yeah. pointing out mm. obviously on your first trip you need that. Mm. That's one bit where you can save a bit of money. Yeah, you don't need to do the, no, the expensive, expensive thing, thing straight away. Again, we've got here we've got TV. Which that's debatable whether you, whether, whether that's an essential. It for it's for some we used to. Yeah. Um, a big advice there is don't go out and spend a lot of money on these twelve volt. You, yeah, again, you can buy caravan specific yeah. TVs that work on 12 volt and 240. We've never DVD ever needed place. it, have we? And well, if you're going off grid, you are going to want the 12 volt yeah. option, but the the discount supermarkets frequently sell these now much, much cheaper than the caravan yeah, shops do. Exactly. And if you never plan to go off grid, get a cheap one from Tesco's. Yeah, other, other useful little, you know, items on your, sh you know, what you call your first outing yeah, trip. Yeah, we wouldn't would call be... these essential, but but they're no, handy, aren't handy. they? Handy. What, what, what um, have you got on your well, list? Well, a torch. Torch, yeah. Yeah, always handy to have a torch. Yeah, if you go in the shower late at night or something like that. That's right, you never know how well the site's going to be yeah. lit, so yeah. Um, yeah. always recommend that. Box of matches. Yeah. Again. Yeah, bin bags you've got here. Yep. Yeah. You've also got here um, a little fan heater. Yes. I, I, I think a little fan heater to, you know, help your ordinary heating system in the van sometimes is essential if, you, if you're winter caravanning or if it's on a cold can, winter can, yeah it can give you a boost or if, no. but say if, you, if you've got a problem with your heating on board oh, a fan heater will warm the caravan up quicker than most other yeah most again other it's, forms it's of another heating. one of them you can pick them up relatively yes. cheap yeah. relatively cheap yeah and the all important we've got here toolkit yeah we'll, um, we'll look at it a bit closer in other videos yeah you know, but, what you want in there but if you've got to change a bulb or something, or yeah. just screwdrivers. You need screwdriver, pliers, yeah. you know, the basic. Yeah. You need Bit a basic, tape. Yeah. basic tool kit for yes. your caravan or in yeah. the back of your car, yeah. ready for you. We mentioned the spanner for the gas cylinder. That's, yeah, that would be that's something you perhaps want in there. <coughs> anyway, that's that's basically your shopping list. Yep. I would advise that you search around on Amazon and eBay yep. and all these types of places. Wil Wilkinsons, Wilco, I always call them, but they're Wilkinsons. Yep. They're a good, they, they have lots of camping stuff yeah, in. Yeah, totally in they? season, they in do, season. yeah. In season, yeah, yep. they do. And they do them at reasonably priced, mm. you know, items. And yep. you can, you know, they're a good shop mm. to look around at. Check out your local dealers. They'll yeah. often do the essentials. Might not necessarily be the cheapest, but it's no. sometimes a convenience. But where it comes to, definitely the inside stuff, I would yeah. definitely look at places like Wilco and, yep. and places like that yep. to get them. There's certain things you're going to have to go yeah. to caravan dealers for. Well, you're not really. You can pick mm. up um, steps and things like that off eBay, can't yeah. you? Or, or, or on online. Amazon. It's um, it's the inside bits where you can save the money. The money, yeah. yeah. Um, but definitely search around um, and fill your shopping list. Yes. <laughs>
Anyway, next time, because you'll have got your caravan, you'll have yep. got your shopping list. Yes. We will take you on site. Yep. But before that, I've just remembered, I sh we should mention this. If you're buying your caravan privately, yes. in most cases, a lot of private sales will throw in a lot of this. Equipment. Yes, they will. Especially if it's a you know an elderly couple or retiring, or, retiring yep. or packing in. Yep. So these are not, essentially, if you've gone down the private route, mm. I know in the first video we advised you to go to mm. dealers. I still advise that, really, for your first caravan. Um, but if you have chosen to go down the private route, a lot of what's on our shopping list, mm. you may you may, be able, may be included in, in, in the sale. In the sale. Yep. So, so again, it's another little saving that you yeah, can Yeah, well, that's, that's one advantage we did mention in the last video yeah. of buying privately. Is sometimes you will get more stuff thrown stuff in. in. In your video. Anyway. That's it for now. Yep. Hopefully that's helpful. Found it useful. Um, and we will see you next time. On site. On site, which won't be that long away, I don't think. No. Nope. It won't be that long nope. away. Um, it's a very nice site we will take you to with some very nice wardens. Yep. Uh, um, and we'll show you what to do. Yep. So, until you. then. Thank you.